now the topic before us is trial and error how brute force attacks target websites what is firstly the question is what is the meaning of brute force brute force means using excessive force or power to achieve something it is not that we come together in large numbers and go to a website administrator and forcefully take the login credentials of the website it is not that in the case of computers or in the case of website security or computer security brute force has a specific technical meaning it is a hacking technique in which hackers use specialized software to automatically try many different password combinations or encryption techniques until they find the correct one what is it means it means that the hackers make use of automatic facility or automatic software which tries different passwords on while logging into the website different passwords and as it is a automatic software the software automatically uses one password after the other until it finds the correct password so that it can it can log into the website what is brute force attack this is the picture before you this is the hacker and it is making use of automatic tool and multiple login attempts are being made and ultimately he becomes successful in logging into the website and the hacker has unauthorized access to the website we can compare the brute force attack with an example suppose there is a thief and he is having multiple keys with him and this is the lock the thief uses all the keys with him one by one so that at last he is in a position to open the lock in the same way in the case of brute force attack on website the hacker uses the automatic tool and the various and a large number of attempts are being made in respect of the passwords that is passwords are the passwords are automatically generated by the automatic software one after the other and the same are tried on the website and ultimately the hacker may be in a position to get unauthorized access to the website if it has unauthorized access it may delete all the contents of the website or it can demand some sort of money from the website or it can sell the data in the black market now we also give you an example of a brute force attack an attack was made on a company taobao a chinese e-commerce site in 2015 a brute force attack was made on taobao which is a chinese e-commerce software com chinese e-commerce company it is from the stable of alibaba chinese company alibaba is very famous and it is one of the alibaba's companies taobao what was the method used in this brute force attack by the hackers hackers make made use of had collected a vast collection of user credentials of about 99 user credentials it was having username and passwords the hackers were having 99 million user credentials with it which they had collected from the past many attacks it means that 
they had collected vast number of user credentials from various attacks they collected it and now they used these user credentials to launch the attack on taobao when they launched brute force attack they were in a position to get access to about 20.5 million user credentials they were able to get access to about 20.5 million taobao accounts were hacked they were able to get the login credentials they were in a position to get credit card details what was their purchase history what was their username what was their email and other details what was the effect of this brute force attack on this chinese company the chinese company suffered a lot of reputation damage of course due to this attack this company chinese company also suffered financial losses the users or the clients of taobao e-commerce company believed that the company had not taken the sufficient steps to protect the websites from attacks that company might have faced some sort of penalties from the government for not taking proper steps which resulted into the data leakage of large number of users so in this way it you will understand from this example that we should not use the passwords again and again why this attack on e-commerce company was successful because the hackers had collected the past history of the users names and passwords used in the past by the users on different sites they collected it and used it if it may be understood with the help of an example suppose we have are having five sites five banking accounts or two bank accounts or two insurance accounts and we are using different passwords or changing it in this way from fifth site we are using then while changing the password we are using the account of fifth site to first site and in case of second site we are using it in fourth site that is we are rotating the password but we are not changing we are rotating the password from one site to another second to first first to five is in this way the brute the hackers in the case of this taobao attack made do use of this weakness of ours because we keep on changing the passwords which we have already used in other sites we make use of that this was the weakness which was being which was exploited by the hackers in the case of this attack so we must remember that we must use strong passwords we must keep unique password for each website the password should not be no password reuse if a password is used on what if one website it you should not be repeated or used on another website in this way we can only by keeping a strong password and not repeating it in on other sites or not repeating it at another date on the same site will protect us from the brute force attack or will protect our website from hacking thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course